Welcome to another episode of This Old Hoopty, where I take that piece of crap and try and make it into something a little more pretty, I hope. In today's episode, we're going to be prepping the bed for the Rust-Oleum black paint job so it matches the cab in the background over there. Once they are put back together, I will be able to do a wet sand and then go for try three of the Purple Flake paint job. No, I haven't given up on it, just been a little busy. I'm not going to shoot the second video of the hot water heater that's installed and good to go over there. And the drywall will be finished after the permit at inspection. So for those of you that watched it, that's what's going on. It's done. We've got hot water again. Woohoo! And uh, enough about that. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, we've got the uh, bed lifted up on the engine hoist. Let's get these uh, metal saw horses from Harbor Freight up underneath there, and then I'll lower it down on top of them. This will give me the ability to do all my body work and everything else without pulling that truck in the garage. So I'm gonna scuff this thing all up. I'm gonna fix that rear tail light area as good as I can. And uh, it's more than good enough for me. She's no trailer queen or show queen or whatever, but uh, she's more than good enough to drive the kids around in and have a little fun in, and that's really the point of this project. So let's get started on the present. So the most important part of this uh, portion of the project is to make this the least visible it can be. It is caked on, but I believe I can make it a little bit better than it is. I'm not going to replace the entire side of the bed. This truck just doesn't have that kind of value to me. In addition to that, there was a ruined uh, topper on here, and I've got to patch up these holes. There's four of them all around there. We will get to this when I get to the inside of the bed once it's mounted again. I'm going to make a, a custom hatch, a box for the fuel filler neck over here and on that side I'm going to make a battery box so this way everything is mounted and hidden in a uh, paint matched little boxes on each side. Also as you can see there's no door handles on the truck so it'll be nice having the battery in the bed this way when the battery dies because it has before I'll be able to just jump it from right here. Let's get the grunt work going. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off or get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running now, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can have me douse, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, time legend bound, can't stop me now All right, we've got this all scuffed up with some 80 grit. Kept the basic lines so I can see what I'm doing here. Those of you who have been around for a while, you'll remember that there were two really big holes right in here, and this is now exactly as it should be. So this now has the contours and everything that it should be. We started up here and we went all the way down to the bottom, wrapped around the back. You can see it's good. Obviously, it still needs to be wet sanded and polished, but that's not going to happen because we're going to be doing the purple flake over this. So it'll just be scuffed and then reshot. But the point of this is this was done as good as I can do, and it looks good to me. So we are going to attempt to do the exact same thing over here, remaking this corner, this one, and this one. And I'll show you why. As you can see, all the booger welds all throughout here. And if you look carefully down in there, you can see the uh, Bondo, hopefully you guys can see that, all the Bondo there squeezed out. The entire lower half of this corner is basically Bondo. So we're going to continue the trend and reshape this corner with Bondo and see if we can get another five or ten years out of this thing. All right, so for the big areas here, the deep areas, we're going to do a little on the front and a little on the back. We're gonna use some of the uh, Bondo glass. That should give it some strength. That is then gonna get a coat of the good old standard Bondo. And then any pinholes, etc., will be done with the glazing putty on top. Got some 80 grit sandpaper. Got some files so I can shape the corner here. And of course, a dirty ass spatula. All right, now that we know what we're using, let's slap some goo on there. So 
So as you can see, this one's completely separate. It's been sitting in my garage for a while. So I'm gonna have to mix this up real quick. All right, that's what this stuff looks like when it's mixed. So let's get a little bit of this out. We'll need up our hardener. Get a little stripe across here. There we go. Mix up our goo. Once again, here's the simple disclaimer. I'm not a body shop, I'm not a mechanic. I'm just somebody who likes to play around in their garage. And for me, the value of this truck, um, I'm not gonna put a ton of money into it or take a ton of time more. I'm just playing around, seeing what I can do with some simple paints in the garage and seeing where we get with this. That's the part that I enjoy. So um, if you wanna learn how to properly do this, you're probably gonna wanna head over to one of those channels like Paint Society or um, I think it's Lakeside or Lakeshore Garage half-ass customs, guys like that, guys who do this professionally, do it for a living, and know exactly what they're doing. For me, just like most of you guys, I'm watching a bunch of YouTube channels and figuring out how it's done, try it once or twice, and get it to what I think is okay, and go from there. So that being said, let's get back to making this thing a little more pretty than it was when we started. All right, as usual, all the stuff that I use in this video will be linked in the description down below or off to the side, so if you need any of that stuff, that's where you go and get it. Let's get the uh, coat of Bondo on here and start working on the shape. Let's do that now. Hit this with the 80 grit, get ready to accept more. Tell you what I'll tell you what once you get used to uh, the texture of this stuff it goes on real nice I like it should be super easy to shape took care of any of the cracks or whatever and there's hairs going in all directions so that should give it some strength okay kind of happy with how that's turning out let's let this harden up for a few minutes and then we'll take one of these rafts over here and start shaping it I'll probably do one more coat of this, give it some better shape over here in this area. All right, we'll start shaping this. Just knocking the high bits off. All right, get the rest of this with some 80 grit. and time to get back to work. Let me show you what I've picked up and we're gonna keep going on the fixing of the bed. So I got another tub of regular Bondo and an applicator set, which is a little more friendly on the hands than this thing. 
we're going to keep working on this shaping and contouring this edge so we can get it as close to this one as possible so we're doing pretty good here so i'm not looking for perfection but i am looking at for it to be much better than it was so it's worth the time that i put into it so basically we're sculpting the rear corner to make it look like the other one that way we can get to the paint and get this thing back together looking forward to that so let's get back to getting another coat on here and see if we can smooth it out and keep going with the shaping let's go all right this is pretty new so it's actually got a great texture I'm just gonna mix it anyways Ready to go. At the same time, I'm gonna get rid of all these pinholes. Okay, for those of you who are new to the channel, keep in mind that this whole quarter panel here, or this whole quarter, was smashed inwards. So the entire thing is built up with Bondo already. The point of this was to get rid of any of the cracking areas and smooth everything back out as good as I can so I can get another layer of paint on there and have it look good again and hopefully last another five or 10 years without cracking. We'll see how things go. And um, the cab's doing well. It's been outside for about a year and there is the same repair on the quarter panels and they look just like the day I did them. So hopefully this will work out the exact same way. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that being said, let's get back to smoothing this out. We're gonna bring the sanding up to 220 and then 320, and then I'll prep the bed for paint and we'll get back into that. Let's keep moving. Use a little prep all. Now I'm gonna use the uh, super fancy primer here, which is what I've got. It's not really primer, it's paint, but this'll do. I'm gonna cover all this up, see if I have any pinholes or anything else left, make it a little easier to see what I got going on here. And we'll keep going. So give me a second. Well, since my super fancy black primer doesn't have a uh, tip, we're gonna use the uh, ultra super fancy purple. And that's gonna be my primer. Yeah, this purple looks pretty damn cool. Time to switch fingers. We've got our super crappy cheap fix thing here covered in uh, what I'm using as primer. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me get the light a little closer. All right, that ain't perfect, but it's good enough for me. That purple actually looks pretty damn cool. So here is the uh, beat to hell rebuilt right corner and here is a uh, stock non-destroyed corner so take a look at that and take a look at that not bad okay guys here's what's left we're gonna let that dry for about three or four days and then i'm going to scuff everything up and I will shoot it in black. That will be the next video and it will be matching the cab. Once I have everything reassembled, we're gonna go for try three of the Metal Flake paint job with the 2K Clear from Speedo Coat. And that brings us to the end of another video so you guys know what to do. Like it if you like, don't if you don't, subscribe to keep up with my latest shenanigans, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.